This is the Dust Buddy Dust Shroud by Dustless Technologies. It's designed for use on seven and a quarter inch worm drive and hypoid drive circular saws. It can be used to capture concrete dust when using a diamond blade or to capture traditional wood dust when using a wood blade. The Dust Buddy comes with several rubber dust guides that fit either on the front or the back opening of the dust shroud itself. On the front goes the tall one. They just slip in place there and you, you stretch them out over this tab right here to put them in place. We'll show you that in a second. And in the back, we have a shorter unit that's split in the back. This is only used when the unit is being used to capture wooden sawdust. When you're capturing fine dust from concrete, drywall, uh, masonry products, stone, tile, and other things, all you need is the one installed in the front. The one in the front actually slips up through this opening and comes up inside of the blade guide. The one in the back, when it's installed, will come up through here, but it also comes up on the outside of the reciprocating blade guard. That's by design. To attach the rubber guide, simply slip the rubber piece over this fixture right here. It stretches, so you have to press it down on one side, pull it on the other, press it down and make sure that you get it around all edges, underneath the lip, and there we go, we got it in place, and then stand it up, and we're good to go. Installing the dust buddy is really a matter of using these hook and loop cinch belts in order to uh, secure the shroud to the uh, plate of the circular saw. And I like to begin by pulling a little bit more of the cinch belts out to give me a little bit of play. I'll show you in a minute why that comes in handy. And then all you have to do is align it up and slide it in. Make sure the rubber um, dust guide is coming up through this hole and comes inside of the blade guard on the front. This dust guide is used on the front when using a diamond blade to cut concrete or uh, brick or block or stone or something like that. If you're going to be using the saw to cut wood and want to cut sawdust, use another one of these guides on the back end, but bring it up on the outside of the reciprocating guide because you've got that motion there and you want it on the outside right here. But for right now, we're just gonna show you how to do it with the guide in the front. Same operation within the back. Once you slide it in place, open the guide up like this, pull your cinch belt up. You can see now where that extra slack kinda of helps you. Pull it through, and of course it's too long right now, so now what you want to do is you want to rotate the cinch belt until you get it to a point where you've got the right amount, you've got it in the right position so that when you pull it tight, none of the overlap comes down over the face. Now we're going to do the front, or the, back, the front of the saw, and you can see this is a little bit tighter, and that's why the extra slack helps. Just feed it up through the middle like this, just like that. Pull it through, put it through the belt loop. And again, it's the same exercise. You have to pull some slack up on the cinch belt until you get it to where it needs to be so that when the belt or when the hook and loop fastens, there's no extra slack. See, there's just a little bit too much there, so we're gonna rotate it just a little bit further. There we go, we make sure it's lined up, it's tight. Pull it tight, cinch it down. Let's close this up, lock that down. Attach your hose, and you're ready to cut. Okay, so this dust buddy is set up for capturing sawdust from cutting wood, and I just want to show it to you. Basically, it's the same process with the exception that you have the rubber dust guide installed in the back, and when you close this up, you'll see that actually comes up on the outside of the blade guard, whereas the one in the front stays inside the blade guard, and that's the only difference.